Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I've got two replays for you in the PZ.58 Mutz. Now this is a tier 8 German medium tank and uh, this is actually coming out in the season pass, the new season pass that's coming up which is uh, celebrating the Chinese New Year. Um, so if you buy the basic season pass at 2000 gold you'll get this as your level 75 tank. So we're just going to look at some stats on it. So you can see forward speed is uh, 50 kilometers an hour. Uh, reverse speed of 20 kilometers an hour. You've got uh, 1,400 hit points and 486 meter view range. Um, carries a 90 centimeter, no, 9 centimeter gun, 90 mil gun, sorry. Got that wrong there. Um, and yeah, you've got uh, 10 degrees of gun depression. Uh, 5.83 second reload time with accuracy at 0.27, 1.75 aim time with AP and APCR uh, as your ammo types. Uh, your penetration values is 212 on standard with 259 on your premium and your armor damage is roughly about 280 hit points. And shell velocity is 1000 on your standard with 1250 on your APCR. Um, your, pre your premium bonus, uh, you get 150 on your silver bonus and 115 on your tank XP. So like most tier 8s, uh, it's good for silver making. So we're just going to look at the armor stats as well. So there's really not much to show to be fair. Uh, you know, it's a medium tank with not, very mu you know, not much armor to be honest. So... Um, it's one of those where I would say you're probably best off playing more as a support and flanking role um, as opposed to anything else. Uh, you may be lucky, you may get some lucky bounces if you're at an angle I guess, but I think 9 times out of 10 most shots you're going to get hit by are going to pen. Um, and yeah, just sort of sco you know, just scoping through basically the different armour thicknesses on the tank. And like I say, there really isn't much to uh, to talk about armor-wise. So, yeah, try to just try not to expose yourself too much. Um, just looking at obviously the where the armor armor where the ammo racks are based on this tank. Uh, you see on each side and on the side of the turret as well. So equipment setup, I've gone for optics, rammer, and vert stabs. Um, so yeah, I'll just you know boost my view range and just sort of improve the gun uh so i'm going to play that flanking role so you know i want sort of accuracy and i want to be able to get shots in as quickly as possible uh my crew perks have gone for uh six cents born leader rapid reload steady aim situational awareness run and gun camouflage expertise snapshot and muffled shot so a bit of a mixture there really between sort of gun stats and camo stats um yeah, I think sort of try and get your camo down with this tank. Um, so, you know, you can sort of play that flanking role a bit more effectively without getting spotted. You could probably swap some of those out maybe, um, you yeah, know, if you wanted to swap them out yeah, and silent driving or anything like that. Maybe some of the gun perks if you want to increase the camo a bit more. It's personal preference really. But anyway, first replay, we're on mines and I'm platooned up with our good friend Crucifix. He's uh, he's playing in the Drogon and uh, yeah, my initial play is going to be moving up to uh, just not the middle, but I'm going to sort of spot the crossing basically and um, yeah, you'll see in a minute. I'm just going to the edge of this, this ridge bit here. Because where their spawn is, they're going to be crossing. Um, an awful snapshot there, which didn't hit the Panther. Try going for the Scorpion G, but he gets just behind the building. Um, we're already getting aimed at by artillery. So we've not really capitalized on, uh, on the tanks crossing here. We tried getting a snapshot into this light tank, but unfortunately it doesn't pay off. And at this point, I'm thinking, right, I'm just going to get out there now because... I don't want to keep getting hit by artillery. We've, you know, we've initially spotted the cross, so we come. Well, we kind of done what we needed to do, really. Um, Crucifix gets a nice shot on the uh, T77 there to finish him off, 
And I'm going to come around this, uh, this, the other side now of the hill and see what shots I can get into this ridge here. We're already, uh, we're already four tanks down, um, which is unfortunate. See a surf shake here, pop out, get a shot into the side. Unfortunately, we take a shot into return, um, which isn't a great trade, but uh, I, just, I was just sort of keen to try and get as much, you know, get some damage in as early as possible, really. Um, we see this, uh, see this IS crossing. So I'm decided I'm going to sort of turn my attention to him rather than uh, peek and try and get shots in the Earthshaker and just getting shots in return, which isn't great. So focusing on size two is more my was more my primary goal. Get some damage in there. Um, I'm just being wary of this Jackson on the left hand side. I'm kind of waiting for this IS next to me to push in, which he has. We've taken a shot off the Jackson, but we've got a shot into the Earthshaker. So I'm just you know that's basically what I've been doing is just sort of waiting for the Earthshaker, ugh, Earthshaker to get distracted and fire his gun so we can go in and, and put a shot in. We're down to half health, which isn't ideal. I was, I was waiting for that Jackson to get taken out as well, so I wasn't sort of compromising my position. And again, just sort of trying to sneak up and see if we can get another shot in. Um, the IS-2 gets a shot into uh, the Earthshaker there, and we managed to finish him off for our first kill. So now we're just going to... It's, it's become a close game. And see there's a lot of one shots here there's also a full health drogon so i'm gonna come up and initially i was thinking of potentially trying to go for those one shots but the first tank i can see is a drogon he's focused on uh, something else so i'm gonna get some shots into him i'll try and see if i can get this guy's health down as much as possible because obviously a full health drogon is going to be quite um quite a difficult well not a difficult tank to deal with but it's going to be a bit of a threat to our team He's now rushing here, and, and to be fair, I, I should have probably, yeah, I should have just pulled all the way back here because I take an unnecessary shot there, which I think was Hesh. Tried getting a shot into that T54E2 there, but that didn't pay off, and we're just backing off now because at this point I'm thinking that there's no point. I'm kind of in a crossfire between the T54E2 and the Drogon, and both those tanks are just going to absolutely shred me to pieces. Well, I'm a one-shot for both, so... Um, I kind of don't want to be in that position now. I just kind of want to get out and uh, you know find another spot where I can play effectively. So I'm going around the hill here, um, and yeah, I'm just sort of thinking I can maybe mop up on uh, you know mop up tanks on this side. Kind of frustrated that we've got heavy tanks sort of camping the base there. I'm not sure if they were just low tier or what, but uh, it's kind of frustrating when you're you know, low on hit points and heavy tanks camp the base. But it is what it is, you know, uh, it's just part of the game. Um, we get a nice uh, nice shot into that uh, enemy light tank there. The Panther's running, um, and I'm just going to pre-aim my shot. I'm thinking he's going to poke out here. He does poke out, and we get another shot in for our third kill. KV 2s fired, so um, I was going to push in, but that Tiger 2 is taking care of him, which is good. So now all that's left is that T-54E2, which is quite a dangerous tank, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to make my way there, and then I was going to wait for uh, Crucifix to come up and rest my team. Um, obviously, this tank's an autoloader, so you know we have to kind of be careful here. However... He's already got a shot on our KV4. He's in a strong position there. Um, you know, he's, he's got cover in all angles. However, he's just been shot at by a TD, I think. Um, which, yeah, leaves him a one shot. He's exposed his side and we get the kill. So, you know, we pick up our fourth kill there uh, for the victory. Um, we come top of the board there with four kills, 2.7k damage. Um, Big shout out to that T54E2 actually because he, you know, he, he had quite a big game. Only 825 assist, um, just the first class medal there. Not uh, not a thrilling game to be fair, but just a little taster of uh, what's to come. So uh, in this game, well, this replay, we're now tuned up with Mass and we're on Duke Laplace. And if you notice on the enemy team, as always, we always get him on the enemy team. We've got the Randy Duck. Uh, fellow YouTuber, he's uh, playing as the art seed. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna be coming up against the uh, the famous Randy Duck, and uh, 
yeah, so we need to be on our A game really to uh, to try and win this because we know how good the Randy Duck is. Um, if you uh, if if you don't know the Randy Duck, then uh, you know check him out on YouTube. Definitely worth following. He's he's, he's definitely got some good content. A very very good player. So anyway, me and Mass, um, we we're, we're gonna go up to me this is encounter mode by the way. So. Uh, spawns are sort of on the left hand side of the map here um, now I'm going to make my way to the left reason being is I see two tanks that are sort of just the right of us I want to sign kind of direct crossfire however this Guardian STG has just decided to go full YOLO and um, I thought he was focusing on me but it turns out he's focusing on his light tank a bit worried I'm going to get shot there luckily artillery traps him in place our light tanks firing at us rather than the uh, Guardian SCG. Luckily, we managed to get him out without taking any damage. So uh, we had a, a you know we had a <laughs> nice start to the game there with one kill uh, and a bit of damage already on the board from uh, from SCG. I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. It's not a good play. But anyway, back to our game. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna make the play as to what we were gonna do originally. And we're going to try and see if we can get cross shots into tanks poking up. See so this T-34-3 poking up there. Um, I backed off a bit because, uh, again, I'm, I'm wary I know the Randy Duck's here. Uh, or he's in the game. So I was kind of thinking he may have actually been in opposite me. But I'm kind of safe now thinking the knowledge. I don't think he is. So I'm just going to start focusing on these tanks. One thing with the Mutz that I've, that I've kind of found out from the few games I've played in it is it tends to not snapshot very well, so you do have to let that gun aim in. Um, yeah, don't be fooled by, you know, the sort of the, the relatively decent accuracy stats. It does feel a bit troll sometimes. Um, so we're, we're sort of letting our gun aim in where we can. See the T-34-3 is poking up. We don't want to take a shot off that guy, so we're just being wary. I've got the Tiger one here. Again, we snap it, but we completely miss. Um, we're actually making a right meal this Tiger one, to be fair. That guy, you know, should have taken him out ages ago. And um, there we go. We get a shot off the T-34-3 there, which is not good. Um, that's sort of taking a lot of hit points off us. But we've still got some to play with. This Tiger one's firing HE, so I'm not overly concerned about taking a shot off this guy. Um, but it's become frustrating that I'm not able to get a shot in and finish this guy off. So, but I'm just biding my time. He's making some weird moves here, and I'm still not able to hit him, honestly. Just and, and there we go. I'm just take, I'm gonna just take my time here. He's firing HE. Don't really have to panic about taking a shot in return. For some reason, I have no idea why these shots are not hitting. Uh, they're not even passing. They just seem to be registering. We get a shot into his lower play there, and we're just going to aim this shot in, and we're just going to finish this guy off. We've sort of had enough of messing around with that guy now. We want to push on with this game. We want to clear the side out so that we can kind of focus on what's on the other side. Um, so we see this uh, AMX come out there, we get a nice shot into him um, and then we just duck into cover because we don't want to take any shots off of this guy. He exposes up a plate and we manage to get a shot into him, getting him off for our third kill. Um, we're just pushing around here, uh, that, uh, that IS-2 gets, that Leo, sorry, gets taken out. And uh, I said to her, I was sort of speaking to Mass at the time, and uh, I was like, oh, what, is artillery over here, isn't he? Pretty sure he is. So um, they're sort of dealing with that medium tank that, uh, that's pretty much there, that Mass has got it in hand with the rest of the team. So I think, right, okay, let's go and find artillery. Uh, artillery gets lit up by uh, one, of our, one of our teammates. Um, tried getting a shot in there, but uh, unfortunately, um, we just missed there and Artie's just sort of sat behind a rock now. Um, I want to get rid of Artie obviously, um, particularly I think this session I was getting focused a lot by Artie. Uh, unfortunately we tried aiming a the shot there in the side but uh, didn't manage to take him out. <laughs> Mass gets the shot in which is good, takes him out. Uh, it's a bit frustrating because I spent all that time trying to get an aim and get a shot on him and probably wasted my time there but never mind. We, we, 
you know, we digress, we get into the game. Luckily, artillery has been taken out, so now we don't have to worry about artillery focusing us. So, uh, the, you know, the numbers are in our favour a little bit. It's 8-5. Uh, However, we're coming late game, and, you know, we're now, <laughs> we're now on a 6v5. So, I worry that, uh, you know, this, this still could swing either way. Uh, you know, I've, I'm sort of... I'm, in the back of my head, I know I know the Randy Duck's going to be sort of pushing his. Yeah, he's going to be pushing quite aggressive. So, in my mind, I'm thinking right. Well, we kind of need to equally push our own aggression and get these tanks out. So, because I think he's going to come in from behind. Or well, that's my worry. So now, I'm, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking, let's try and get these guys out. You get two kills in quick succession, which is really good. That uh, we're now up to five kills and 4k damage um, mass is going up to top there so I'm gonna sort of try and push in with him as well um, and see if we can take out this heavy tank and then we've just got to then all we've got to worry about is Randy Dark so uh, we're gonna try and take this uh, this heavy tank out unfortunately mass goes down to uh, the Randy Dark and yeah I'm yeah Pretty sure his shot came from uh, G3 there, sort of uh, on the other side. So um, needs to just try and take out this uh, this heavy tank. Uh, I've got my TD with me, um, which is good. I'm so I'm just gonna sort of I'm gonna, trying to poke up and bait a shot here, uh, but TNH doesn't really seem to be playing ball. Um, we've got our oh, two other players you know two other teammates are in the cap they're, they're getting the cap down TD pokes up now so now I can take this opportunity to start trying to get a shot in um, TD gets a shot and I get a shot in now putting on 155 hit points unfortunately that kill shot just bounces and that's really unlucky we could have got the top gun there and we just fluffed our shot the Randy Duck makes his uh, makes his presence known and he's full health so yeah we, we I'm, I'm ducking into uh, some cover there. I don't want to stay left exposed because I will get shut down. We did manage to get a tracking shot into him, but he manages to repair it and pulls back. He managed to get a reset on the cap now, so uh, yeah, there's no there's no chance of, uh, of our guys capping out anytime soon. Now we're on the hunt for the duck. We're duck hunting, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm trying to think. Hmm, where is he going to go? And I was half wondering he may have come around this side. It's either that or he's just sort of going to double back on himself and go back to where he was when he shot Chris. Uh, Mass, sorry. Um, and I'm just sort of, uh, yeah, I'm, now we're just, it's just a race against time to try and see where he is. Um, I'm pushing up over here, thinking you could be at the back there. And yeah, I'm, I'm biding my time now. It's this game of patience. So I don't want to go rushing in. Um, yeah, obviously I've got good view range, but uh, yeah, against the Yahtzee, it's yeah, the Yahtzee is probably going to outspot me. It's, it's camera is obviously much better than mine. So um, I'm just being wary at this point. Obviously, I don't want to go travelling off into the open, into the unknown, and, and just getting absolutely shredded for no reason. And uh, yeah, but. He manages to get a lit up and we get a nice and quick pot shot into him. Pick up some assist as well, so I think it was us that spotted him. But um, yeah, unfortunately uh, for Randy Duck, we take him out. But good for us, we get the victory and we come top of the board. Um, with five kills and just under 4.9k damage there, 592 assist. Uh, pick up the ace tanker middle there and the high calibre, so really good game. Big shout out to Mass as well. He had a really, really good game with his uh, Panther two, and um, and yeah, it, it yeah, we, it was some good platoon play there, and uh, and a nice game, and, and also big credit to uh, the Randy Duck. Um, yeah, he put in a good game there with his Yahtzee, So uh, fair play to him. So anyway, guys, that's the PZ fifty eight Marts, which you'll be getting if you get the season pass. Uh, like I say, it's in the two K season pass. Um, if you know, if you don't want to get the uh, ultimate, you can just get the sort of the basic season pass. Um, if you want this tank, 
is it is it worth paying 2k gold for a season pass to get this out yeah I, th- I mean i think so i mean overall i think paying 2k for a season pass um you get half your gold back anyway with with the gold that you accumulate through the stages so um obviously you get your war chest as well so um so yeah i i, I personally think 2k gold and you get half it back so effectively you're paying 1k gold for a for a, a tier 8 premium it's kind of a no-brainer really uh, even if it was really bad i think it's you know still half worth it in case you get it in the war chest but but there we go that's uh, that's my views on it guys anyway that's enough from me so uh, i'll see you next time take care